Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of unit conversions. This is standard 5.7a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 16 of the Redesign Practice Online Star Test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work the problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So, we have a Sahil making a wooden train, 185 centimeters long. We need the length of this train in meters. All right, so let's check our reference chart just so that we can see exactly what we're dealing with here. And if you see here, we've got length metric. I'll put it down at the bottom of the screen. And we have one meter equals 100 centimeters. So that's the conversion that we need to keep in mind one meter equals 100 centimeters as we keep this uh, problem moving forward we're going to use that one meter equals 100 centimeters i'm going to open up my graph draw increase my transparency 185 centimeters and meters so that's that's really what i'm looking at so let me let me write this one meter equals 100 centimeters that's what's on our reference material now there's two different ways that we can solve this. Uh, one is uh, going to be a little bit uh, more complicated, but it actually is pretty cool because the metric system is based on 10. So let me just draw some lines here. And let me say a little saying. King Henry died unusually drinking chocolate milk. Think of the PEMDAS, the Please Excuse My Dear Aunt Sally. This is another trick for converting metric system. So the king is actually uh, the prefix kilo, and the henry is actually hecto. Died is, there's two different Ds, so uh, this is the first one is going to be deca. And then this U right here, unusually, stands for whatever unit we're dealing with. And then D, desa, is drinking, C, centa, chocolate, and M, milla, is milk. So the unit, it could be liters, it could be grams, it could be meters. In this case, we're dealing with meters. And so what we do here, and this, think of it like a place value chart, right? Every place to the left is 10 times greater than the place to the right. So what we could do is we can put our 185 centimeters. So let's build 185 centimeters. Let's make the ones place go in the centimeters place. So that's this right here. So it's, this is the center, and then meters. And then the 185 gets built backwards from there. So I've got my 185 centimeters right here, because the ones place is in the centimeters. And notice what I need to change it into. I need to change it into meters, right? So where's my meters? Make that the new ones place. So if that's my new ones place, my decimal goes there, and I get my 1.85. Another way to do this is just to think, okay, one meters equals 100 centimeters, right? So if I'm going from 185 centimeters, right? So you see how 100 increases, right? So we see that uh, when we are going from centimeters over to meters, right? We are going from small to big. So I know my answer is going to be a little bit larger than this 100. Since my 185 is larger than my 100, I know my meters is going to be larger than that one. When I'm going from small to big, that means that what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to divide, right? So I'm going to divide this 185 by how many meters there are in centimeters there are in one meter, so that's going to be 185 divided by 100, which that gets a little bit tricky, right? Because uh, now we've got to get a decimal into our division. Uh, but if we just kind of keep doing it like this, we'll see, okay, so 8, it's 800, and then you see where this is going. We're going to get down to the 500, and that's going to be 1.85. So either way, my answer here is A.